And good afternoon, everyone from Productivity Breakthrough, from the uh, uh, Art of Managing Time, uh, the Queenly Art of Managing Time, from Overwhelmed to Overjoyed, and 180 Degree Time Management, my professional business page. This is Tanya Dotson Winkler, and I am here. And I'm so excited to be able to introduce you to the amazing Francine Lewis. And Francine, <laughs> awesome. Francine and I have been working together uh, since last year. We actually met in around July. Francine had been one of the people that has uh, seen my webinar and went through all of those steps. So she, so, ooh, she um, saw the webinar, she saw the link to book a call, she booked a call. Uh, she got it in her calendar, we spoke, she entered into my programming, and we've basically been working together ever since. So Francine has uh, done all of the programming, the uh, eight module webinar that she started on where uh, she had been got, had gotten in touch with me by the ad and, and going through all of those steps. And then she's done a couple of our um, upgraded programs or backup program, back end programs. Since then, she's now currently on the uh, year long mastermind. And Francine, I am so delighted to invite you to this interview. I'm so uh, thankful and pleased that you made the time to be here because as we know, your time is precious. So would you like to introduce yourself uh, to our audience, let them know where you work, what you do, and uh, you know, and what kind of time management and productivity challenges were you facing when you started working together? Okay, well, thank you very much for that introduction, Tanya. I really appreciate that. I'm humbled by that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, my name is Francine Lewis, and I've been a notary for 15 years, and I've been running my own notary firm for the last, well, since 2015. So starting my, I'm in my sixth year of uh, being a business owner. And uh, the productivity challenges that I've been facing has just been, <laughs> it's been a lot as far as wanting to, you know, saying yes to everything and wanting to, to always get everything done and not having enough hours in the day to do it. So I was working uh, these really crazy long hours <laughs> at the office. But the thing is that, you know, I'm so passionate about what I do and I, I love what I do. And, and it, it didn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like a chore, but it, it definitely is, feels um, imbalanced as far as, you know, my, my home life, my personal life uh, and my, you know, myself as well so you know you kind of feel yourself being on that trajectory of the burnout and we don't want that to happen because you still want to be able to 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 do what you do and to you know that right now my my business is is um you know i'm i'm the, i'm the only notary in my firm so if i'm not working um i can't uh i can't serve my clients so that was a, definitely a, a concern of being able to find better balance between you know getting everything done and you know continuing to give the best of myself quality products to my clients quality service to my clients and still you know be a great mom and and uh you know not get myself physically sick so yeah. so yeah there were some challenges there because like you know you want it all you know you wanted you want i just i want everything <laughs> you know i want to get everything done and um you know your body tells you differently it's, yeah that's interesting isn't it and i'm so happy that you mentioned the fact that you're a mom because i was going to ask you about you know the the family background and your personal life so you know i know that you are a mom of two kids and you have you're in a relationship so yeah. that is really important for you to have your free time to yourself and not be taking work home, not working evenings, not working weekends. Um, yeah. I also know that your daughter is um, remotely studying, so she's home all day. Can you say a little bit about yeah about yeah. that? Yeah, I mean, look, I have I have two amazing kids. Uh, they're teenagers. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but um, I mean, the 17 and 14, almost 18 and 15. And, uh, you know, 
time is fleeting and I definitely feel like, um, I, I feel like, you know, time's flying by and, uh, you know, you, I want to be able to, to have a, a relationship with my kids, have a great relationship with my kids. And, and, uh, it's, it's, um, you know, it's challenging again, finding the balance because I mean, as teenagers, you know, especially during the, the pandemic, it, it's difficult what they're living through as far as um, having much less contact with their friends, physical contact that is. And teenagers, it's all about their friends. You know, it's all about, you know, finding your, finding your, 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 your tribe, you know? So it's been, um, it's been challenging because, you know, mom is just not cool. You know, I'm not, I'm not the person that, you know, they want to hang out with. So, yeah. so yeah, it's just try to, I'm feeding them. <laughs> gotcha. Well, that's, and, that, and you have a relationship as well. So then there's, you know, making time for your relationship, making time for your kids, making time, like you said, for yourself. And, you know, that inability to say no that I think that that's got to be the battle cry of almost every woman, if not every mother that I have ever worked with and mm. continue to work with. So that's really, um, you know, it really confirms my suspicions, it confirms my experience with working with women and especially with moms. And uh, yeah, so yeah. let me ask you, because we're not going to be on that long, but we, uh, you know, people have stuff to do, and I know you got stuff to do, but I definitely want people to get an idea of what is available. So if you could say a little bit about what kind of systems and programs you've used in the past, if any, and what didn't work about them. Well, the systems uh, that I used in the past was, was very much reactionary. You know, it was pretty much about who's yelling the loudest. You know what I mean? Who's who's panicking the most? What's what's having my heart palpitate the lot? You know? I got it. I so got there was it. very yeah. much of a of, of a reactionary, um, very much like a like a like a pompi, you know, like as well. I, I speak French. Uh, my my business is uh, is uh, I have half French clientele, half English clientele. So I was I felt like I was a fireman, figuratively speaking as far as putting out fires. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just, uh, I was just, just trying to do everything um, at the expense of sleep and, uh, yep. you know, of, 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 of myself, you know? So, so yeah, it wasn't a very good system <laughs> because uh, as, as I said, I felt like I was on the trajectory towards, um, so it's burnout. Right. And I'm glad you just mentioned the fact that you are bilingual. So uh, I forgot to mention it when I introduced you that Francine is mm -hmm. in Canada. That's where she's working. And so that we, the, the programs that we offer are international. You can do them anywhere. You can do them on, you know, they are online, you are, but you're also working with me um, on Q and A's, but uh, we're going to talk about that a little later. So it's, um, it's great for you to, to be able to say that half of this French, half is in English, and you're put, just putting out fires, which are at forever, which one's uh, yelling the loudest. That's really cool. So yeah. you saw the webinar. What made you click through? Because that's a lot of steps to go through, you know, and I never take that lightly when someone books a call with me because I know they have watched the webinar. They've clicked on the link for my booking page. They've found, you've got children in the background. They have found, uh, you, you can see that. Hi, <laughs> I love it. Uh, I love it. This is perfect. Sorry about that. No, no, no. We're no. live. We're, we're live. live. Exactly, we're live. And that's how life is. When, you know, that's what life looks like when it's working, right? It doesn't care what we're yep. up to. So there you go. So yeah, yeah I, I recognize the fact that, that you look at the whole webinar, you booked the call, you found time in your schedule to book a call, you uh, filled out that steward application, and then you were on the call with me uh, when I called you back for your booking. So what was it that you saw that had you go through, jump through all those hoops mm. to book a call with me and, start, and then start working with me? Well, I felt like what I was going through uh, at the time, it just felt like it was clearly not working. And I, as I said, I, I, could, I was trying to pay attention to the signs 
And I was really feeling like, look, I'm running out of ideas. I need to be able to think outside of myself, think outside of the box, and just really yeah. allow myself a different way, yeah. a, a, a different philosophy. So yes, there was curiosity there. And there was also a willingness to just say, look, <laughs> I mean, Jesus, take the wheel, okay? Because, <laughs> because it was just... <laughs> It was just kind of like, <laughs> it was just, you know, it, I just really felt like whatever it is, I don't know. So I need to be a student on, I need to, I need to learn a different way. Mm-hmm. So I was, I was, I felt ready to, to try something different as far as just letting go of the way I've been doing things, which has been, which has served me well up to a certain point, you know, it it definitely brought me, you know, to to a wonderful career. And, um, you know, I, I, you know, it wasn't all bad, you know, I survived my, my university that way. I survived, uh, my master's, you know, you know, I, I made it through, but now I was getting to a point where it was like, okay, dropping some pieces. So, the, listening to your webinar, obviously it resonated with me um, because I thought, okay, well, this person seems to know something that I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe I should hear what she has to say, you know. It's really great that you and, say that, Francine, because that's exactly how the whole program got developed. The only reason that I knew something you didn't know was because I was you. Okay. I did the exact same thing. I got through college. I got through my master's program. I, you know, I even went to medical school for a year and a half just for fun. (laughs) You know, that didn't turn out to be my field of uh, work, but you know, it was, I was climbing that ladder and, and you're right. And, And that's what most people that work with me and most of the general public are recognizing. You get to a certain point and it seems like the wheels fall off. Right. Uh, because you add to university and you add to uh, grad school, you got a house, you got a mortgage, you got kids, you got a relationship, you got to do the laundry, you got to do the cooking, you got to do the cleaning. You know, yeah. even if you have people doing some of these things for you, you still got to manage all of that in a household. And then all of a sudden, that skate, you know, that fly by night or uh, skating by the seat of your pants or whatever it was we were doing back in the day. Mm. And not, then, so, what, not, not so exciting. <laughs> no, not so exciting anymore. Right. And the other thing is the more successful we become, the worse it gets. And that was where I started. Like, wait a minute. That's not supposed to be the case. It's not supposed to be that the more clients I get, the, the more stressed out I get. It's supposed to be the more clients I get, the better things go. So that was... You are absolutely right. That's what I learned. And that's why I put this program together. So what if you can boil down just the top three, I know when we when we spoke the first time Mm -hmm. you you enrolled in the program, I said, I wanted you to pick three goals that you were committed to having fulfilled by the end of the program. Do you remember those goals? Yeah, I I, yeah, I have a I have a clear idea about those goals. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I, th- I think I'm a pretty simple person, but for me, the go- it was really about finding balance. So I wanted to bring down the, 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 the hours that I work, you know, I wanted to, to find that, that balance, you know, from working, uh, you know, 13, 14 hours days to, <clears throat> you know, more, you know, eight hours days or, you know, I was wanted something that was more balanced. I wanted to be able to have, uh, you know, one hour lunch. You know, I was skipping lunch all the time because I was just working through right. the day. And then, uh, you know, so that was part of taking care of myself. So, you know, there was that. I uh, wanted to be able to, to also, uh, you know, uh, just have a better relationship with um with, with my kids, with, with my daughter, especially, you know, to, to be more present, uh, spend more quality time with my, with my daughter. So uh, practically, pragmatically for me, that was more about, okay, well, let's, let's cook, uh, you know, two meals a week or something like that, you know, where, 
where we're doing an activity together. Right. So right. I was just trying to, 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 I wanted to have goals that were, that I felt were achievable and, and not um, like realistic, you know, yeah. and, and, and uh, attainable. Right. That's really great that you say that because that's how we set the program up so that you're not overwhelmed even more, that the actual programming is designed to work in your real life, you know, with what you're really dealing with right now. Yes. Right now. Yeah. Not theory. So what would you say, if you could boil it down into maybe two sentences, what's the difference Mm -hmm. uh, about 180 degree time management than uh, from what you have tried before or have heard of before. Right. Well, the biggest difference is really about like not being so reactionary and, and, and it's really about taking, doing the time, doing, doing, taking the time before to really plan out like okay, what is what is sacred? What is important? What what is like just really taking being more in the driver's seat with my time management, as opposed to just kind of like going where the wind takes me, you know, and just like again being more reactionary. Yeah. So yeah. so there's more of a mindfulness about that, and not just in terms of not just professionally also being mindful about mm. ab about the personal stuff too as far as okay let's let's you know let's let's be mindful about the activities that I'm that I'm doing you know the exercise that I'm doing or the just you know cleaning up you know like picking you know <laughs> just putting away clothes when you fold them up you know just being more mindful and more purposeful about my time as opposed to just being like this just reactionary and 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 going where the wind takes me so that has been the biggest difference i've seen between uh, since embarking on this journey with you is really being more mindful about how to spend my time and also what is important to me so what is important to me as far as okay what am i what am i trying to like what is like on this you know i don't want to say the word to do list <laughs> but but on, <laughs> on, on we don't do those no we don't do those we don't do those but at the same time it's like okay you know you have a certain set of goals right you know and short term medium term long term right and and just being more mindful about that and 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 i feel like there's more um consciousness about dividing up my time and there's more importance like i feel like okay you know it's not just work 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 and then like there's no energy left by the time i get home Right. So it's like, okay, what are you trying to accomplish as far as the the the, the big picture? You know, yes, the business is important. My clients are extremely important and valuable to me, but so is my health. You know, so is so is my relationship with with my with my common law spouse and with with my kids, with right. my sisters. <laughs> you know, we talked about relationship with my sisters as well. You know, it's not just Le noyau, it's not just like the 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 close family relatives, but also like my like who's giving me energy and vitamin C, you know, and like my sisters, my sisters are so important to me, you know, and and there's you know complicated relationships there, but yeah, you know, there's we ex I feel I felt like we were able to explore many different types of dynamics and different relationships that. You know that explains what I do. Why do why I do it too? You know that was it. Yeah, so that's one of the main things that we've been working on is why do you do what you do? Why do you spend your time where you spend your time? What are the things that are you know um, informing you? The the mindfulness that you're talking about. You know, that's so great that you said that because that's exactly how this whole thing fits together. 
because a lot of the times, like you say, we're running behind ourselves like chickens with our heads cut off and work, 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 and you know, this yeah. item, this item, this item, this item, and come home and fall asleep in front of Netflix. That's not the life that we went to school for. That's not why we started our businesses, you know? Uh-huh. And, and like you said about your health, it's really interesting to, for me to be speaking to a lot of people that are working themselves literally to death and they are the CEO or the founder or the owner like you and I of their businesses. And you're right. If, if we go down, game over. Exactly. Like game there is no game. business. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, it, that's why it's also called 180 degree time management, because we take a 180 degrees perspective, like the front and the back of the hand. And when you look at something from an opposite perspective, you get to see something completely different about whatever you're looking at. So thanks yeah. for saying that. Um, yeah. I yeah. do yeah. think that we are pretty much at the end now. I just want to say, Francine, this has been really great talking to you. Um, and, and I know I, the next question, which is what goals are you still working on and how is your current program supporting you in reaching these goals? I think we're going to save that for another interview because that is really something that belongs to the graduate group. You know, the, the people that have done the, web, the eight session webinar, a lot of those people, that's the other thing I want to say to anybody that's watching this, you know, we have support groups going on all the time. I think uh, I know that that was one of the things, Francine, you said that made a, a tremendous difference was that it wasn't just, you know, here are these eight modules, you know, off you go, but that we had the Q&A sessions where we oh, yes. like this and yeah. I actually support you in going yeah. from the one item to the other item and learning yeah. about yourself and putting things into your schedule. No, it's it's really made to measure. Okay. It's not like a one size fits all at all <laughs> because we have so many different priorities and, and, and issues motivating us and driving us. We all have different histories too, which kind of creates these knee jerk reactions that we're not even conscious that we're having that we're having these types of reactions to so no for me it's been such a joy being able to have these types of exchanges with you because it it's helping with the self awareness and it's just you know making me overall less of a a stress ball lunatic you know because that's the <clears throat> that's the thing is that you feel like <clears throat> sorry when you feel like you're always reactionary your 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 level your pressure you feel the temperature go up Ooh. so i've since again do, doing i i like you know yes it was 180 degree management but it's 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 really about for me it's 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 been a journey and it's it's been so enlightening for me to be able to to just be aware of what's going on and to help real like to realize that you know what I don't have to let the temperature fly off the charts. Right. I don't I don't have to just 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 let that go crazy. I I can just be more mindful about what's going on and not you know be aware of why I'm doing what I'm doing so that I can kind of look at myself on the outside and be like okay I am having this reaction because of, you know, I mean, I understand why I'm having these reactions to a particular situation. So let's just pause that, okay, and see it differently. (laughs) Have that 180, have that 180, and then it's like, oh, it's not so dramatic. It's not so, this is not Mount Everest. It's not so unsurmountable. Right. So that has been really incredible not just professionally but personally and as i said as a sister as a mother as a mother also and and as a daughter you know relationship with my mom too you know so thank you thank you that has been absolutely my pleasure and it's so uh, great to be continuing on this journey with you i think we've just coined uh, how i'm going to post this when I post it is because you just said stress ball lunatic. So from stress ball <laughs> lunatic to non-reactive, then warrior, you know, notary, right? <laughs> exactly. 
We're centered, we're calm, and we're having fun. Can I just mention that since me and you have started meditating? So you thank you. <laughs> yeah, because like you said, it's all about mindset. If we don't yeah. take care of that, it will take care of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's the thing. We have to be a good student. We have to be willing to to just put our egos aside and really listen to a different perspective. Wow. Listen to a, a yeah, and and so that's important. It's it's a it's a two way street. It's not just like oh, I'm just gonna listen to everything. No, it's just like pay attention and and be honest with yourself, and just allow yourself to to. And entertain the idea of of a new way of thinking. Brilliant, mm. very very good. Cool. Thank that you. Really, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Thanks for you know really laying it out. I think you, you you couldn't I couldn't have said it better myself. And it's so also always so great to have it from the client's perspective. Um, at what's really going on in your life and how this uh, has uh, changed things around, transformed things, yeah. and given you what you were looking for. Um, so I'm going to sign off and, and to say, you know, anyone else that is in one of our groups that is someone who, like she says, uh, lo loves to learn, is willing to look at things differently, is willing to take a 180 degree approach to their time management and productivity in order to get the, the outcome that they want, which is freedom, which is more time with family. Like uh, Francine says, just to, if, if, if all you get out of it is a, a one hour for your lunch every day, hey, that's a big difference, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, that's, that's quality of life and that's freedom, you know, and working less than eight hours a day um, is also something that we focus on here at 180 Degree Time Management. So thank you once again. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a link in uh, the uh, comments for you to be able to, those of you that watch this, to be able to uh, get in touch with me. And yeah, if you also want to sign up for the webinar, I'm gonna make that available. So you'll be able to see what Francine saw. It is a new webinar, cause you know, you gotta keep things fresh. You can't yes. keep looking out the same webinar all the time, but it touches yeah. on the exact same points that Francine was able to see when she saw it last July. And I'm going to be posting the link to that once I put that up. I just did that yesterday. And um, that was really great. So thank you so much. And then you'll be able to do the Thank exactly you. Merci. Merci. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having me. You are so welcome. Thank you for being here. Have a great day.